quiet night The photograph on the dashboard Taken years ago Turned around backwards so the windshield shows Every street light reveals a picture in reverse Still it's so much clearer I forgot my shirt at the water's edge The moon is low
Are you gonna dig a hole? Where are we now? Where where are we? What's the name of this beach? Oh, and what country? New Zealand? Ah, oh, and what's this hole here? The boilernator. Boilernator. <laughs> So steamy. I need my waterproof camera. I see all of these around here. Okay. Um, well, probably. Got hot feet. Hot water. It's boiling Is there someone younger and you're feeling old? You're crazy. 
and you never faded Don't wanna be so complicated See my life come undone Watch it go and let the damage run And I'd change this all now if I could In the slickness of your blood
wished you could change in the lazy summer And she told you laughing down to her core So she would not cry as she lay in your lap And she said nobody here can live forever Dusk and summer But you
shoulders are out like this. But my shoulders are out like this. I like that other one here, but this is still a nice line. Hi. 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 After the local region of Europe. The natives in these waters, rest of all men, and the people of the world, they are still tears. There are still two stations in Labour. Gold has never been found on But the early settlers that came to this side of the lake wanted to farm this land. That one up there, that's the first homestead that was built on the property. But as those early just built one room and then keep adding on to it. With this stone that you see here in the embankment, it's a schist stone comes right out of the ground. So it was an obvious choice to build with. And then by 1912, there was a Scottish family, the Mackenzies owned the property. And they were the longest continuous owners. They owned it for 80 years. Called Ardmore in Scotland. And they built this homestead here and they called it Ardmore House. Now they must have been feeling very prosperous. Farming must have been treating them very well because this was a very isolated property. The Oh, sweet. Yeah, and then all the sheep here and everything. Like Chucky Shunda Oh, like she followed like sheep. This is incredible. Yeah, fishing. You want to look at them, have it? But you can see how handy a dog like this is for farmers. They get to shift their sheep from one. Walk up there. Boy, give yeah boy. Walk up. So in New Zealand, we have a lot of shearers coming to the countries to help us shear our sheep. And a lot of New Zealand shearers are just closer to the ground. Now I can start to shear the body of the sheep. And the first part of the body I shear is the back, just back there. And then I put it there. And now when I finish, I'll be finishing on the back knee on the opposite side. So, now I shear up the neck here. Aww. Send the girl out from behind the tidy onto the front leg. So I'm still on the same side. I start that back leg, and this is where she can have a little lie down. I feel it's called the long blow. So we don't get complicated in explaining what we're doing here. These are the longest blows on the sheet. So now one side has been done. The back has been done, 
and I'll get around onto this last side. But the shearers out there, they like to call this the money side. The shearers get paid for the number of sheep they shear in a day, and of course they get around here, it's closer to another one, on their tally, and professional shearers shearing this type of sheep could be shearing between three and four hundred each a day. So here we go folks, I started on the back leg, on the opposite side there, just worked my way around the body of the sheep, a little bit over the tail, and maybe we could say he has been fleeced. Yawn, huh? So I don't understand how it's working. Oh my god! It's incredible. So this is just done straight from the sheep. In the factory, of course, they have big machines and they would wash it and comb it or card it first so that all the strands are running the same way. How do you make the thick wool? Pardon? How do you make the thick wool? You just, well, what you do is you'd probably. Is this Noah's Ark? Yeah. Oh, is that toy? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that sheep? We're getting off soon.
such a holiday. Ooh, you're a holiday, such a holiday. It's something I think's worthwhile if the puppet makes you smile. If not, then you're throwing stones, throwing stones, throwing stones. Oh, it's a funny game. Don't believe that it's all the same. Can't think what I just said. Put the soft pillow on my head. Millions of eyes can't see. Yet why am I so blind when there's someone else is me? It's unkind. It's unkind.
guys with us for the next four or five minutes itself so before going in the cave have any of you been here before Thank you. 
Because you know we saw the boat take you. Because this whole zero that we live in. This whole zero is only about 20 people from all of these things I look at. Because it's more cold here. So it's completely lost down south. So this one's really good. And which is the other one? Which one's the other one? Which one's the other one? Which one's the other one? Finished. Yeah. We've been going for probably about an hour, close to an hour, 20 minutes. Then she'll stop for about an hour or so and then go again. But the which all of you should be familiar with by now, translated towards like key order has a number of meanings such as hi, hello.
to Kiwis, and there we can get to New York to meet the cultures. But she does have teeth on her bottom gun. So I can slide my finger into her mouth. Aww. She's not going to bite down on it. She would rather spit the right when we're out. Dirty finger, clean wall. Great combination. <laughs> now, sheep share like myself. She, anyway, between 250 to 380 sheep in a nine hour day. Now, sheep shearers do not get paid by the hour rate. We get paid for the sheep we share around a dollar. Per animal. And this little looking thing, this is what we call a hand solid steel. It weighs just over 1 kg. A 13 tooth comb on the bottom, a 4 tooth cutter on top, which slides back and forth cutting that wall. Now, the style tune that I'm doing for you this afternoon is called the Bowen Technique. It's been around since late 1950s and is now practiced right throughout the world. So, without any delay, Woo! <laughs>
same thing she feels. The big toe, a bit embarrassed. Well, the best thing I can do for her is stick her outside. She'll get a belly full of grass, that'll generate heat from the inner side out. The panels over the next 48 hours, that skin thickness will double. And also the lateral that is naturally in her pores, that'll come to the surface will compensate any lack of heat. Now, she, when you shed them, they have a tendency to tuck in their feet, and it's hard to clean up under them. So when she brings it back, I apply just a little bit of pressure, and then we will just pop it. Just like that. So it's quite important. She tucks it up, bit of pressure, brings it back. We will stick her away now, and we'll see her in six months. Bye. 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 Right, if you'd like to follow me, I'll do it. They come out. Like to jump on the check with the other. I don't like this. Like this. Come on, Come on, then, let's smile for the camera. You and me. You and me. Oh. Look, we're on camera. That's from two places. The it comes off an angle of a rabbit, or it comes off an angle of a goat. And that's what they are. Angle of a goat. Did you say yum? They've been shorn about uh, two months. Obviously, from time to time, they're bred, and he let them go in the bush. Now, throughout all our pine forests, and a native forest. Oh, no. Six years old. Hey, and a seven you. and a half years old. All hey, the same you. size. What's cooking? Oh, look at that. The scientists tell us they evolved those large horns. Wall, they have this inside them like a hook. They call it cuticle. So that's why you can mix wool with any other fiber like mohair, cashmere. Bye bye beauty. Handsome, bye bye. Show us what you're made of. Strutting around. Bye bye, small for camera. Hmm, Queenstown. Hands are clean. And you're the best thing that he's ever seen. So I guess the man in Cal City, um, but near about 20 minutes from the city.
calls me Take a taxi there. They just they just want me to spend money in the Holiday Inn. Yeah, that's and I, I looked at instead of that. Okay, yeah. I you better run for me for the next time. The placement. <laughs> so nice. I love boats. It's the fifth boat I've been on this week. I was in New Zealand. Oh, 
think this is the Forbidden Island or something. You can just walk out today, the tide is low. And here I am, trying to go a few steps further. I'm not sure if this is the Forbidden one. We're woken up in the middle of the night by torrential rain. And also, they turn the power off at 2 a.m generator goes off. So I was dying to go to the toilet and I was stuck holding it for an hour and then finally I braved it enough to get up and use the toilet in the dark. No flashlight. And then the thunder and the torrential rain when I had to get up again, it was so dark with all the cloud cover. You couldn't, you could barely make out where the window was, <laughs> let alone anything else. So I just grinned and bared it. Cannibal. 
Yeah. Yeah, but I can have a wedding. Look, 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 look. We have to kill. Okay. 
this is the line. You can say that I have a monogram. Shut up! Fine, that's Yeah, poison. Poisonous, eh? So if you are being stung by one of them, stung. Yeah. Being what stung. we usually do is get a lot of them on the Great Barrier Reef in Queensland. Yeah. Stingers, yeah. What Louis Pigeon used to do, we bring them to What is it? <laughs> Ron, don't touch it. <laughs> oh, it's alive still. Yeah, Can you get it away from me? <laughs> and uh, someone with me. <laughs> what we, do, we bring them onto the boat or to the shore. We turn them upside down like that. And they die. And we step on it. With your foot? It will suck back the poison. Alright. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and this is making it to yep. what, what's this called again? Crown of thorns. So if you step on them, you thorns. bring them on the beach, tip them upside down. And see, see this thing? They'll suck. Yeah. They'll suck the poison back. That so That's cool. clever. Oh, it's killing its own self. Mm -hmm. it? No, he didn't you step on it. I tried to get my uploaded and I was having a hard time. Yeah. Uh, thank I you. ended up, it got stuck in my out box, Hi. so I forwarded it to you again. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what we're taking here. I think everybody should just leave. That's me. Where do we go? Nobody knows. So who are we waiting for? Wait for Andrew! <laughs> I've got to say I'm on my way. Down. God give me style and give me grace. We are leaving on a jet plane. There's a yellow fish God here. Put a it smile looks poisonous. Upon my face. Is this yellow blue fish poisonous? Yes. <laughs> I'm 
There's a crab in my pool, who's your life? Where do we go? Nobody knows Don't ever say you're on your way down When God gave you style and gave you And put a smile upon your face I oh, yeah. am
Well, there's nothing left in there, so it's someone about that. Yeah. What a pretty song you're singing. What song is that? Oh. Oh. I'm from back from Yes. Yes. Bag is a pack, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Thank you all. See you later. See you later. Bon voyage. Bid you well for the future of Christmas coming up. Yeah, happy Christmas and happy new year. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. I know you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but we do. Beautiful. <laughs> All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. I need a taxi swing, it's early morning. Already I'm so warm, so much is fun. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. And this is how you disembark the island of Manta. The luggage went first, and then the Australian family, Sharon and the family. Lovely people, the family. I snorkeled first. I went out far. Get a canoe. It's so gorgeous lying down in the middle of the water. Hello. Oh, this is heaven. Oh, you guys, man. I love it. Underneath 
beneath the mangrove tree, swaying on a lovely day, on a hammock, on a beautiful sunny day.
strong child she would remain Until someone might decide To dance this little child across this hall Woke up at sunrise this morning. Here we are on the coral coast of Fiji in a place called Nambuka. My two little buddies, they've adopted me. Good morning. To rock and rear. Bye. Ocean. A little villa. 